Himawari is a character that I really never thought about making a video on since she's always been this little cute kawaii character that the series has always portrayed. But after Boruto chapter 77 released, it has somewhat hinted that Himawari might be the strongest character that we have seen in the Boruto series. I know it sounds absolutely insane, but after reading Boruto chapter 77, ayo, hey Himawari might be a her. She might be dead as stronger than Boruto, Kawaki, Naruto, and Sasuke, and everybody in the series due to how the implications of her power was kind of displayed. And even though she didn't fight anyone or show off any crazy abilities in the latest chapter, the way that Damon was talking about Himawari, it seems like Himawari has some crazy insane latent power. So Damon and Ada, ever since they have started to live in the Hidden Leaf Village, no one has had the ability to keep up with them in terms of power. Of course, Boruto and Kawaki have the ability to resist Ada's love charm ability, however, Damon did beat up the two of them, showing that Damon is the strongest person in in the leaf village excluding ada possibly due to the fact that she's been hiding her abilities and we have not seen her fight at full power yet and in the latest chapter he ran into himawari for the very first time and my boy was shook ever since damon has been introduced into the boruto series this little ass kid has been talking down on everybody no matter who it is whether it's the likes of boruto kawaki code and just everybody in general anytime he looks at somebody as a way of his arrogance due to the fact on just how strong damon is of course he has that insane reflection ability where he has the ability to reflect any killing intent that is coming toward him back to the user that who was thinking about hurting him in the first place. That is some of the most broken hacks that we have seen in the series so far and every time we do see Damon he's basically sort of in a way talking down on everybody that he sees. When he was talking to Boruto and Kawaki he was calling him a weakling and even though Boruto did take that disrespect and told him that yo you better not say that shit again or else I'm gonna bring my dad and Sasuke. At the end of the day Naruto and Sasuke have been long gone surpassed. Of course they have been nerfed, Naruto lost Karama, Sasuke lost his Rinnegan, Boruto and Kawaki have surpassed both Naruto and Sasuke, and with Damon being levels above Boruto and Kawaki, there is still a significant gap between Damon and Boruto and Kawaki regardless of Naruto and Sasuke's power. I mean this arc, the code arc, has established that Naruto and Sasuke are basically fodders at this point. Naruto just got sealed away by Kawaki and we most likely won't see him until Paul's time skip. Going back to episode 1, Kawaki literally tells Boruto, yo, I'm gonna send you where I sent Lord 7th, meaning that Naruto probably won't come back in the story until Paul's time skip, probably post battle between Boruto and Kawaki. So that means Naruto is gone, he's gonna be gone for a minute. Same thing probably is gonna happen with Sasuke. I probably expect Sasuke is gonna die very soon. Don't imagine Sasuke is gonna live, he's probably gonna get packed up by Kawaki or possibly Ada or Damon. And with the fact of this happening, Damon always looks down on people. Boruto, Kawaki, and everybody in the Leaf Village, he literally says that why isn't there anyone who can keep up with me or Ada? In order to look at someone as sort of like a sibling or as a friend, they need similar power. And that's the attitude that Damon has. He has this arrogance to him in his complex of his character where if you don't have the power, the same power as Ada and Damon, you're looked down as essentially a fodder, no matter who you are. I mean, when Code got his limiters unlocked, Damon destroyed his shit, he stomped him out, rode him like a damn horse, and told him that you're a nobody, and that basically took away Code's entire hype from his limiters being removed and that just shows you just how strong Damon is and once he ran into Himawari his entire attitude changed. Like I said my boy was shook when he saw this little cute kawaii little girl shopping for some bread and tea for Hinata. It was absolutely insane considering that once Damon saw her his entire expression changed. Himawari like I said has always been portrayed as this cute character. She hasn't really been shown to do that much but we know that in the past especially in the anime the anime has gone out of its way to show just how strong Himawari is. Of course, we know that she did knock out Naruto during the Hokage inauguration, but I think everyone who saw that scene, whether it was in the manga version or the anime, we all thought that it was just a gag. Of course, Himawari is strong. She has that Uzumaki Hyuga genetics, so that definitely comes into play, but her knocking out Naruto, like I said, everybody thought it was a gag, but after seeing Damon look at Himawari like that and saying that Himawari has a crazy intensity to her 
power, it sort of begs the question just how strong Himawari is. It sort of hinted that Himawari is even stronger than Boruto and Kawaki, considering that Damon was talking down on Boruto and Kawaki ever since he met them, and then the second he meets Himawari, he actually tries to attack Hima. He even says that why didn't you try to dodge it, you're like one of us, it should be easy for you, considering how much power she has, which we don't know what type of powers that Himo has. Of course she has the Byakugan, I imagine that she does know the gentle fist. The anime has hinted that Himawari has been training under Hinata and Hanabi, so she has some sort of ninja training. Even though in the latest chapter Boruto does say that Himawari doesn't even know how to fight, which is kind of odd considering that in the few times that we have seen Hima in battle, she's gone absolutely bad shit. I guess that's just referring to her actual overall experience. She's not a ninja and in the anime she is enrolled in the academy so she has some ninja like experience she has gone on some missions before so the manga here is sort of bridging that himawari arc which shows you that himawari has something special about her we don't know her true power to the full extent but the fact that damon who is basically the strongest character in the series right now looked at himawari and referred to her as one of his equals in a way referring to her as one of us instead of looking down on her like he has with boruto kawaki and the entire leaf village the fact that he did this shows you that Himawari has some sort of power that we just don't know about. It probably has to do with her Byakugan. We've seen her Byakugan in power, we know what she's able to do. And with the fact that she has the genetics from the Uzumaki and Yuga clan, what if she has some even crazier powers like the Tenseigan for example? I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see Himawari in battle very soon. Like Boruto said, she doesn't really have any combat experience. She isn't a ninja, she isn't a shinobi by law. The anime has been shown that she is in interested in becoming a ninja and with the fact that Hinata has been sealed away, Himawari will have no choice but to fight. And of course I did make this comparison in my chapter review, Himawari is sort of like the Gohan of the Boruto series. Both characters with Gohan and Himawari in the beginning of the series at least have both been portrayed as this cute weakling type of character, Damon even sees Himawari as this weak type of character but after further examining her power just by looking at her, she has some sort of latent power and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Himawari just pop off. Just like how we saw Gohan in the beginning stages of DBZ where he goes absolutely bonkers, especially in the fight against Raditz and Frieza. We've seen that potential there. Himawari has some insane potential that we just don't know about and at some points when we see her fight, which to be honest with you might be against Kawaki since Kawaki just sealed away the two of her parents, this might be some insane setup right here. We might even see a fight between Damon and Himawari since it's sort of setting up the fight between the two of these characters. Boruto and Kawaki have absolutely nothing when it comes to fighting Damon. Damon took them out pretty easily and even though they weren't at full power I'd imagine that if they were at full power it would have been the same result. The fact that Damon saw Himawari as some sort of an equal or just a threat in general it shows you that Himawari has some sort of latent power that we just don't know about man. It's some of the craziest shit that I've read. I'm actually pretty excited to see Hima in battle. It's crazy for me to see is considering that I had my doubts bro I'm not gonna lie I, I gotta apologize in advance I had my doubts of Himawari she wasn't really a ninja she really hasn't done anything significant in the series but this setup alone the fact that the strongest character in the series right now excluding Shabai of course looked at Himawari and was like yo she might be her it's a lot of setup bro and we know that Kawaki is gonna try to hunt down all of the Osutsuki which includes Boruto and once we do get that fight Himawari as we know she's heading back where she's gonna find out that Naruto and Hinata are gone, she's definitely gonna jump into the mix of that battle between Boruto and Kawaki for sure. I'm not gonna lie bro, what if she beats up Kawaki? Of course in the end we do see in episode 1 is just Boruto and Kawaki, so at some point Himawari is gonna lose. We know that Boruto and Kawaki are becoming stronger, but right now in the series it is hinted that yes, Himawari might be the strongest character in the Naruto verse. I mean with Damon existing right now, I'm not that surprised, but Damon at least he's been in combat he's been hinted at to be stronger than Jigen so I'm not that surprised with Damon but with Himawari it's incredibly odd knowing that she really hasn't done much in the series uh, and now all of a sudden she's this demigod this 8 year old demigod basically if you put Madara against her he might even lose Kaguya even Hagoromo that's crazy to think about knowing how much of latent power she has she might unlock the Tensei Gun. she might have like some Tensei Gun chakra mode I know a lot of people said that Boruto was gonna get the Tensei Gun simply because he has that Hyuga genetics. But if anybody were to get that Tensei 
Polygon since I've seen that theory, especially in the earlier parts of the Boruto series, I'd imagine that it would go to Hima. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. I'm surprised that I'm even making a Himawari video to begin with since I'm not gonna lie, I thought she was done for the story. I didn't think she was actually gonna play a role, but I think this is the perfect time for Himawari to play some sort of role. I think this is great from Kishimoto. I'm happy that she's actually playing some pivotal role. Of course, in the end, she's probably not gonna be that end all be all save everybody type of character, but I'm glad that she has some sort of things that we can look forward to when it comes to her character. So let me know how you guys feel about Himawari and her power in the comment section below. Do you think she's gonna be the strongest character in the series? It's hinting up to be that way. And also make sure to join the Discord for updates and if you wanna keep up with the community and things of that nature. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace.